So I'll bang her out, call the Uber, put the other one in the second ride sharing app. And the other one is a new rotation girl. It's only my second time seeing her, the fifth one. And that girl is 20 years old, has like no body fat. End up fucking railing her out, watching a movie. And then in the morning, she fucking cooks breakfast, did dishes, and the cycle begins all over again. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. And today we have a fun little video, okay? I banged five different girls yesterday, which isn't that big of a deal or that big of a rarity. It's very commonplace, but it was such a terrific day that I wanted to kind of give you guys an insight into what a lot of my typical days look like, okay? Playing this game at a high level, having lots of amazing full package regulars, okay? Before we continue, if you are not already a subscriber, please subscribe below. Make sure you turn on the notification bell to get notified of new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, and today's coming out a little bit late because the last girl was hanging around for a long time. Then I had my mastermind call with my mastermind mentorship group. So the day started off. I have, uh, and I'm wearing my nice little John John shirt. This is a popular brand here in, in Brazil. Also happens to be my name. So uh, I woke up. Yesterday morning, okay, I had, I typically have a different girl that sleeps over each night, okay, there's about 12 regulars right now, and there's always new dates happening, and usually there's a different one of the main ones sleeping over on any given night, okay, so on this particular day, I have one of the girls, um, for those of you that watched my trip advice YouTube live recently, uh, we showed her cleavage on the camera because she happened to be over um, she, uh, has fake tits. Today's her birthday, actually. Just turned 24. Fake tits, tattoos, piercings, my top three turn-ons. And she has three years of tantric massage experience. So she wakes me up, uh, in the morning and had cooked breakfast and made coffee. She brings that to me on like a fucking wooden thing in bed. Okay. And she's wearing like a little bikini thing. I eat that shit in bread, and then I'm laying there, I'm like, that was fucking awesome. And then she's like, do you want, and this is in Portuguese, she's like, do you want a tantric massage? I'm like, yes, of course, right? And she has, she, that was like her old job, she did that for like three years. So she gets out the fucking lube, lubing up my dick, doing all this cool shit. For those of you that never had a tantric or neuro massage, highly recommend. I have my own little personal girl here on rotation. Um, and then fucking get that and a bang her out, okay? We chill for a bit, listen to some music. Then I tell her I have a lot of work to do. So the frame that I have with all these girls is that I'm basically working like 24 seven and I make little bits of time for them. When in reality, I'm spending most of my time seeing other chicks, but I just don't wanna tell them that. So I tell them like, oh, I have a whole bunch of work that I need to get started on, right? She leaves. I have the, a new one on the way. Okay, the, the new one actually was a new one, wasn't a rotation. It was a hangout for the first time. Um, that particular new, I'm just basically giving like a summary now. Uh, that particular new one asked if she could bring a friend. I'm like, why do you want to bring a friend? What if we, what if things get like sexual or romantic? That's like the way I typed it in Portuguese. What if things get romantic or sexual and your friend is here? That would be weird. She's like, well, my friend has a car and I have a car and I need to get there. I'm like, I'll call an Uber for you. Call an Uber, that girl shows up, end up fucking rallying her out two rounds. Okay, so I went one round with the blonde, two rounds with the new one. The new one was number 1,238, okay? And it's my 49th girl in Brazil. I arrived February uh, 8th, February 7th, February 8th, at 1,179, okay? So that was my, at 1,100, sorry, 1,000, yeah, 1,179, 1,238 was my 49th check. Okay, so the next one will be number 50. Um, so the new one gets banged out two times. I have another rotation girl over. Okay, I had a brief fucking period of time to relax, but a half hour. I take two of these. This is maca. I have a whole video about it. It's to increase libido. 
um, enhance sexual performance, make your erections stronger, uh, recre decrease recovery time between rounds, etc. I typically take two of these in the morning and then I take another couple before each girl. Okay, or you can do it like every other girl. Take another couple and that will keep it so that you have no problems with erection. I don't have any problems with it anyways, but it just, it just get, helps you to give like a more uh, optimal perform sexual performance, okay? Um, so the, the rotation one came over, banged that one out, and then she, like at first she's like, oh, we have the whole night, blah, 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 like, cause I was like starting to ask like quickly cause I had another one that wanted to come over. And I'm like, oh no, I have a lot of work to do later. And she's like, well, I'm, I'm gonna be sleeping here. And I told her I had too much work to do. There's a lot of new problems with work. I'm gonna be working really late, but another night we can hang out for longer. Um, bang her, she leaves. And like, even before I went to bang her, like the, the next one that's coming, that was like 45 minutes away, I called the Uber for that one before I even went to bang this chick so that she could be like in, tra in route, in transit before the other one, because I had another one coming to sleep over after that. Okay, so. The rotation girl gets banged and leaves. Um, oh, and she fucking like, oh, that's another thing. A lot of them will like clean the house or like, she's fucking cleaning and like did all my dishes and all that shit. She leaves. Uh, the next one arrives about 10 minutes later. You should have two, if you're doing this kind of thing, you should have two, like stacking multiple girls like this. You should have two ride sharing apps. Okay, in the States you can do Uber and Lyft. They don't have Lyft here in Brazil. So I do Uber in this app called 99 Taxi. I call, 99 taxi one for the new one, or sorry, for the one that's, that's currently there, and the other one's coming through Uber. Then, uh, another thing too, if like, if you mess up the timing, if one's like getting there sooner than the other one's, when the other one's not ready to leave yet, like a lot of times they're like leaving within five minutes of each other, you just send them, if it's non-social distancing, non-social distancing or non-coronavirus times, you send them to a restaurant or a bar and say, hey, let's meet here instead, and then you get the other one out of there, and then you have and then you say, oh, actually, let's meet at the house. Then you have them come to the house. Okay, so this there was like a five-minute gap with this. Okay, so now we have the fourth one arriving. And with this fourth one, I had canceled on her like five or six of the past bunch of times. Okay, I'm going to do a video on rotations. Um, you should have like three tiers, I think. You have all your top ones. Those are the ones you prioritize and you spend the most time with. Then you have your second tier who has potential to move into your first tier and replace first tier girls that get out of control or that you get bored of fucking, etc. And then your third tier, it shouldn't be ugly chicks, you shouldn't fuck ugly chicks, but your third tier should be like chicks that are still attractive, but you don't have like that much of a connection with them or like they're just kind of like your, your last choices. And you should always also be scheduling new dates so that you have new chicks that can replace other girls that are part of the rotation. So, um, this girl I had canceled on like five or six times. It was like very close to losing her. So I had her come. She's like, I'm mad at you, all this stuff. I put, and she was like all done up. Like she, cause I had literally canceled five or six times. I'd, I'd always blamed it on work or family issues or whatever the fuck, doesn't matter. Okay, stuff that she can't really get too mad at you for. And then uh, she thought she was supposed to sleep over, but then like, I'm already framing it. Well, she's here, they had a lot of problems with work again, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, next time when I see you, we can go out to dinner and like we can watch a movie and you can stay overnight and all that stuff. So I planned that for Tuesday. So this chick's still like an eight, even though she's still in tier three and she was all done up and shit. So bang her out, call the Uber, put the other one in the second ride sharing app. And the other one is a new rotation girl. It's only my second time seeing her, the fifth one. And that girl is 20 years old, has like no body fat. End up fucking railing her out, watching a movie and then in the morning, she fucking cooks breakfast, did dishes, and the cycle begins all over again, okay? So that's how a lot of the dates, or a lot of my days are stacked up, where it's back to back to back. I would say I see about two to five girls a day, um, mostly repeats. I prioritize repeats, okay? A couple weeks ago, I blew off 10 different new dates straight to the house, okay? Just because there are repeats that need to get serviced, so to speak. And it's just a big uh, balancing act, a big juggling act, okay? But what this does is a lot of things. For one, you don't need any one of these girls in particular, right? So you're not needy towards any of them. Number two, um, you always have new shit coming in, right? To keep variety and stuff interesting. Number three, this whole frame of like that you're always busy with work. 
makes it very easy to kick them out. And I'll make a separate video about how to kick them out properly without upsetting them or giving them buyer's remorse, which means having them regret the sex, et cetera, and feel slutty about it. Um, and I, I do that by, say, by making them think that I'm always busy with work, okay? The other thing it's doing is allowing me to cancel on them a lot, right? Like I'm, I'm very frequently canceling on them, right? Also yesterday, I was supposed to see this other girl with fake tits in really good shape for dinner, okay? I had to cancel on that. I had other fuck buddies that were like, hey, can I sleep over? Can I see you? I was like, no, I'm really, really busy with work tonight, right? And they're like, okay, well, next time. So like, not only are there two to five girls that you're banging per day, but then there's all these girls that you're canceling, okay? I'm canceling like new dates. Sorry, shit came up. I'm canceling with rotation girls. Sometimes I even forget to text them. And they're like, hey, you can call the Uber. And I get done fucking a chick and I come back to my phone. And I'm like, oh shit, I totally forgot. I got stuck on a work call. So I'm always blaming work. Work is always like the thing, even though it's, it's all fabrication, even though it technically is work, some banging chicks and that's my job, uh, rough life. But that, I mean, that's just how it goes. It's just, it's just a scheduling thing, right? And I, a lot of times I'll double or triple stack time slots and then it, you know, some girls end up needing to reschedule, they need to cancel themselves, and then you still have backups, okay? And then I still have, I have like ones that are like dying to see me at any time, right? So if, if I have like full cancellations for that time slot, maybe I'll fucking hit the gym or like do something to provide a little more balance to my life. <laughs> but you can go to that roster where there's like girls immediately like ready to come over at the drop of a hat, okay? And you can build up something like this you can build up a four or five girl rotation in two to three weeks if you're doing the stuff that I say in my systems, okay? If you're following my advice and, and running the machine properly, so to speak. So you can move to a new location or even just start in the current location that you're currently in and build up a rotation like this very fast, okay? And, th and this is why, and I'm gonna make a bunch of videos about rotations, why I think they're the best compared to monogamous relationships. Um, I'm gonna go into just all the all the all the cool stuff that, that comes along with with a whole harem and roster of hot cool chicks okay but that about does it for this sorry for the i didn't want to go into oh well, we talked about this and that and those are kind of like the major details i mentioned in, in my mentorship group today that i had banged five chicks i say a lot of guys were very shocked um because a lot of guys haven't even uh been with five chicks total in their life okay i had a a video where I tried to really push the volume a few months back, two or three months back, where I did 18 new in three days. And guys are like, oh, I haven't even banged 18 in my whole life. How'd you do that in three days, right? And it's not all just about numbers. And this, the whole point isn't just to rack up a score. And this is the byproduct of having a very solid game and having a good level of skill at this, okay? Um, but uh, lots of really cool stuff coming. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do more like technical breakdown stuff. I found like my first field report ever from when I went out and did games. So I'm going to put that out this week. Uh, using mystery method and walk you guys through that. I have all kinds of uh, collaborations set up with other guys on other channels, um, and the roasts will be starting uh, next Sunday, okay? So, as always, please subscribe if you have not already, like and share if you found value here, and make sure you press the notification bell when you subscribe so you get alerted to new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern time, okay? Thank you guys for watching. I am John Anthony. Uh, I talk about this stuff like it's normal now because it is normal to me. I know it's all relativistic and all that stuff, but this kind of shows you what is possible at this level and what you have to look forward to, okay? A whole shitload of bitches pissed at you because you're canceling on them and, and, and no one else. But what's, what's cool though is, is these, a lot of these like ones in the tier one, they have like a long list of dudes that are after them and they're like in love with me, right? And they want to be my girlfriend. They want to be married to me. Even chicks that know like about my company and know about my rotation, okay? They still want that. Okay, so what does that say? But uh, keep that in mind, okay, as you move through this, that you know, you might want to, you might not want that extreme to be playing the game at that extreme of a level. It is very time consuming and there, there are a lot of headaches and drama that comes along with it, but it is it is fun nonetheless to have, you know, choice with a whole bunch of hot chicks at any given time on any given day. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. I am John Anthony. Take care. Watch that ass, 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 watch that